So you just clicked on this video. That means that you're here because you're just a curious soul or maybe today you experienced a level 10 cringe situation. We've all been there. But what exactly is cringe and why does it hit us so hard? Believe it or not, there's some actual science behind this common human experience. Cringing technically isn't a clinical term. It's more like a catch-all phrase for that physiological and emotional response we get to awkward or embarrassing situations. The interesting thing is, this cringe can be triggered by ourselves or by witnessing someone else's social blunders. Scientists believe that cringe is rooted in our basic need to fit in. I want to fit in. We're wired to understand and follow social norms. So when we see someone violate those norms, it taps into a primal fear of being negatively judged ourselves. It's like our brain is saying, oh no, if they can mess up that badly, what if I do? It's a kind of social survival mechanism, a reminder to stay within the boundaries of acceptable behavior. A study by the University of Michigan found a surprising link between physical pain and intense cringing. Apparently, the same part of your brain lights up when you stub your toe and when you witness someone attempt to dab in 2024. It's just not cool anymore, sorry. This suggests that cringe isn't just a social discomfort, it's a genuine biological response. Our bodies are literally reacting to the perceived pain of another social blunder. Let's face it, some situations are certified cringe magnets. Imagine this, you're at a coffee shop and someone loudly calls their significant other mommy in public. Major cringe, right? But here's the thing, even body language can amplify the cringe factor. Studies have shown that people who openly display some embarrassment after a social misstep are actually perceived more positively. Why? Because it shows you understand social cues and that the awkwardness wasn't intentional. We subconsciously pick up on these nonverbal cues, and a well-placed grimace or a sympathetic eyebrow raise can actually give empathy for the person experiencing the cringe. And vice versa, someone who acts completely ignorant after a social blunder will raise red flags. People who show no reaction can be seen as less trustworthy or socially aware. So the next time you witness a social meltdown, a well-timed cringe reaction might actually be the most appropriate response. Some people are like cringe machines. They keep cutting you off mid-sentence, tell jokes that make you want to crawl under a rock, or stare at you harder than a creepy alien. What's the deal? There are a couple reasons someone might be like this. Maybe they're just social butterflies who haven't quite learned how to fly in a group yet, they don't always get how their actions affect the people around them, or maybe they have anxiety that makes it hard to read the room. They might miss social cues and end up doing things that, well, make you cringe. Anyway, if you don't want to seem cringe, subscribe. <laughs>